Hello, it is I, Vadim, and in this video I am going to unbox the ASRock A620M Pro RS motherboard. I have uh, <laughs> another version of it over here. This is a Wi-Fi version. So I want to quickly tell you about the differences here. This is basically the same motherboard, same everything, with one exception, that this one comes with a Wi-Fi module pre-installed and that brings me to the price of this thing. So it costs 125 British pounds in the UK, 115 dollars in the US and 125 euros in Europe. And as you can see, the Wi-Fi costs just 10 dollars more. Yeah, that is exactly why I think that this is a better buy. The Wi-Fi version is a better buy because it's only $10 and you're not gonna find a cheap Wi-Fi 6E module like that on the market. Um, I, usually, I usually see them for like $20. So if you need Wi-Fi, you want Wi-Fi, then just look up the Wi-Fi module of this thing right here. But if you don't, then it's absolutely fine save yourself ten dollars uh, okay with that out of the way let's have a look what comes inside the box with this thing and i'll walk you through its uh, features and specifications all right so a standard manual user manual everything is uh, very well illustrated everything is explained nice you get all of your uh, m.2 ssd screws and standoffs two sata cables and that is it for the accessories don't expect much because as i said this is a pretty cheap motherboard 115 dollars just like with the other ones you get that uh, foam foam padding at the back to protect uh, the motherboard during shipping. Let's begin with the most important thing, is the power delivery system. I should warn you that this thing supports CPUs only up to 120 watts, so don't put in any high-end CPUs in here. What is not supported is uh, Ryzen 9 7900X and 7950X. Those are 170 watt CPUs. However, if you want to use a 7950X3D, then it is absolutely fine because that is 120 watt CPU. This thing comes with one 8-pin power connector and uh, 6 plus 2 plus 1 phase power design. Check it out. Check out that heatsink. There's a cute little heatsink for the top VRMs check it out it is actually quite nice and a pretty beefy one for the main vrm have a look at that this is thick this is thick and nice so you're pretty much well equipped when it comes to <laughs> cpu power Let's have a look at the uh, I.O. shield next. Ooh, what I like about it is that it comes pre-installed. So no messing around with that. It, it, it comes pre-installed. You just pop your motherboards into your case and that is done. And there is a protective film here. So let's peel that real quick. always a pleasure to do that check it out there are two holes for Wi-Fi antenna so yeah you can install your own Wi-Fi module later on if you wish to bias flash nice to have for bias updates without a CPU display port HDMI one two three four five six seven USB type A ports and one USB type C port that is a lot of USBs for a cheap motherboard. One gigabit LAN and your 
you know, standard audio connections here. This is actually quite nice. Storage options are actually quite good for this type of motherboard. Two SATA ports here and two more here. And for your NVMe M.2 SSDs you get two Gen 4 slots. One is underneath this heatsink, which is nice to have for extra cooling. Uh, one more Gen 4 SSD here. That's your M.2 Wi-Fi spot over here. So, you know, if you want to install that little Wi-Fi module, it goes in here and then you route your cables and for the antenna in there. There's one more M.2 SSD slot right here. However, this is Gen 3 and it is limited to just two lanes. So definitely do not put your fast SSDs in here this will not do, the speed is going to be limited. Use these two first. In terms of memory, we get four DDR5 slots. They open from one side, so there's no latch over here. There you go. And this right here is uh, the USB connection for your front panel. Uh, this is a 5 gigabit per second connection which is not as fast as 20 on some of the other models uh, you know the more expensive b650 and x670 uh, motherboards they do have that 20 gigabit per second uh, for the front panel but this one does not if you want to connect your fans to the motherboard you get a total of five fan connectors one for the cpu up here and one two, three, four for your case fans down below. So yeah, that is quite nice because there is uh, a possibility to connect the exhaust fan at the back over here and three fans for the front down here. Yeah, it's gonna be very nice and tidy because you can just route those cables at the back of the case and that's it. For you RGB lovers out there, you get two addressable LED connections over here and one more over here and just a regular RGB LED also just one of those though to connect your graphics cards you get one Gen 4 PCIe slot yeah it's not Gen 5 all A620 motherboards have Gen 4 only but it's not gonna be a problem for many many years to come so don't hesitate it's not gonna be an issue for future generation of graphics cards but check out the design this little motherboard actually looks quite good check it black PCB it is glossy and let's have a look at the back it is also glossy black. Yeah. It is a very nice little motherboard. I'll leave the link to it in the description below. If you want to purchase one from Amazon, then go ahead and click that. It will take you to your local Amazon store. Helps me out to get the commission and you pay the same price support my content if you enjoyed this video then give it a like leave your comments down below if you want to, to ask me something about this motherboard or anything else for that matter and i'll see you in the next one